Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Gparted and how to remove any partitions on a drive and then work from there. So as we can see, I'm just sat at my desktop here and I'm currently running Manjaro Linux, which is a variation of Arch. So for this, uh, I'm just going to go, because Gparted gets installed with Arch, with, with Manjaro standard, I'm just going to type Gparted. It's going to ask me for a password because it wants to no, know it's saying hey look you're going to be doing like things that need permissions so we want to make sure you are the actual person you're saying you are so as we can see here we have multiple drives we have a one terabyte a four terabyte a one terabyte an eight terabyte and a one terabyte now none of these are the drive that i'm going to be formatting what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug in my two terabyte uh external drive how to go from there you'll you will need to tell gpired hey look i need you to refresh because i plugged in a new device so it's just gonna go over there and say hey look i need time and as we can see here we have a two terabyte device this is in flat 32 and ext4 which is a linux based well, it's not Linux based file system. It's used a lot in Linux just because it's not, well, it's used a lot in Linux. Uh, I'll cover that in a future video. Anyway, as you can see here, we have uh, two things. We have a FAT32 for the system partition, so the boot and all that. And we have this, which is the 1.82 uh, Tibby bytes, because if you ever see any storage method that's uh, M I B or G I B that's to be Gibby or maybe bytes. It's not megabytes. It's maybe bytes. That's just how uh, storage device manufacturers uh, label their drive storages. It's in Ibby bytes. So Tibby bytes, Ibby bytes, Gibby bytes, all that sort of thing. It's, it's strange. It's very strange. Anyway, so once we're here, we just want to go remove that, remove that. Yes, I wish to execute this. Apply all, all, all operations. Now this could take not very long at all. As you can see, this is entirely done. At the current moment, it's unallocated. There's nothing on it. So what we need to do is just go select new partition. Uh, yes, I want to keep my size. I want to keep everything here. And then just click add. And click apply this so let's apply the operation of giving it a making it so it's no longer just in a completely blank drive giving it the giving it a partition that can be seen by operating systems now windows will see it but it won't exactly play friendly with it seeing as it's not a file system that it's used to if it was fat 32 windows could go hey look i recognize that or if it was nti ntfs it can go i recognize that but it doesn't tend to play friendly with the xt4 a apple based device would work well with the ft4 the xt4 that's just the difference between mac os and windows as you can see we have now completed this so i'll just go to home we now have a completely blank uh, external drive as you can see this doesn't have a name so it's just like home oh, oh, all sorts of just the hex hexadecimal identifier so to do that we can just uh, go name partition and go uh, space. Like yes, I just go. Oh look, you've given me a name. That's going to go through and scan everything. But anyway, this has been how to install or how to use Gparted and Wipey device. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I'd like to thank my Patreons uh, Ashley and Raining Hazmat for being subscribed over at Patreon. Uh, Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Drop a comment if you've got any concerns or any questions at all. And I hope you have a good rest of your day.